everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a beautiful, man, wicked cool color combination. 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air, wicked cool car, guys. I took this car in on trade. Uh, matter of fact, from a gentleman up out of Canada, uh, but he bought the car out of Kentucky. Uh, it's got like, uh, I can't remember the miles, 50, 54, 55,000 original miles on this car, but it's got, I think he said 680 miles on an LS conversion. This is the factory color combination, um, laurel green and crocus yellow. It's had one repaint. Uh, and it's got the uh, factory charcoal and yellow interior in it. Super cool color combination, man. Just jumps off this car. Uh, car's got a great look. It's got two inch drop spindles on the front. It's got 17 and 18 inch uh, chrome Americans all the way around it. And this car has got the look, man. If, you, if you're a veteran of, my, veteran of my videos, you've heard me say this before. This car's got eyes. This car's got the look, man. Just paint just jumps off it. Cool car, fun to drive. Uh, like I say, with that LS swap, car's fast. Um, good looking car, man. Sits good. Like I say, wicked cool color combination. You can see a couple little touch-up marks. He's got it. He got us actually a little touch-up bottle for the paint. Uh, chrome and stainless is nice. He said a lot of this stuff, which that right there, that's probably original. Got yeah, a little stone peck there. Um, let's just see. Uh, and I saw a pretty good uh, little touch-up mark there along the hood line. But good-looking car, man. Love the color combination. I think this car's got all the original glass in it. You can kind of pick that front windshield. Wipers, it's still got the old vacuum operated wipers. They will come on, but uh, probably have to be doing about 70 miles an hour to get them to work. So, but I think this car's got all the original uh, glass in it. Like I say, nice car, man. Drives out good. It's got the uh, 4L80 overdrive transmission. Of course, this is where you put the fuel in. Car's nice and straight down the sides. Getting great stance. It's got an H-pipe MagnaFlow dual exhaust system on it that's got sounds awesome. Like I say, few little things that you can kind of pick at on the car, but really nice. Like I say, drives good, um, good power. He said it's got all the original body panels. Matter of fact, the original skirts and uh, I think hubcaps and, and a lot of original stuff is actually in the trunk. Again, it's got uh, disc brake uh, kit on the front with two inch drop spindles. Looks like a little touch up mark there. Again, um, uh, LS3, six liter fuel injected engine. You can see it's got the polished intake, fuel rails, uh, 92 uh, millimeter throttle body on it. It's got uh, hooker, ceramic long tube headers. I think the at the paint actually up there on the firewall. I think that's original. Again, it's got a disc brake conversion kit, 4L uh, 80, automatic overdrive trans, aluminum radiator. It's got a cam kit and stuff like that. He gave me all that LS wiring swap, 
uh, new fuel tank with uh, an LS conversion pump. I'm going to put this car right in the front window because it'll jump out at you. I'll tell you that right now. Our lights hit this thing at night and it's super cool. Man, that looks like the original mirror. You can pick at that stuff a little bit, but it's original. All this stainless is original. Those door handles are original. Door skins are clean. Again, he said the car's got all the original body panels on it. It's got the Daytona carpeting in it. Factory bench seat. Again, this is the original color combination for the interior. Original steering wheel. Yeah, 54604. That's supposed to be the original miles to the car. Uh, auto sounds radio, it works. It's about the only thing I don't like. If you know me at all, I'm not a big fan of B&M shifters. I would, without a doubt, put a low car shifter in it, which actually he wanted to do. They're on back order. Um, the one that he actually wanted to put in the car, and so he just never got around. And it works. I'm not, you know, some guys love them. I'm just not a big fan of them. Uh, good sound in Magnaflow dual exhaust system in it. Um, it's got an H-pipe, stock rear end, <laughs> factory jack, little bias by spare. Factory jack, again, he's got a ton of uh, like fender skirts. Oh, the uh, this is out because the, your plugins for the LS stuff is all behind the, um, or in the glove box. There's a bunch of paperwork in here too um, that goes with the car. Like the original owner's manuals and stuff like that. little shrinkage on your paint there. Yeah, it's all body color here in the trunk. Everything opens and closes real nice. I'm a post guy. I actually am one of those guys that likes posts better than I like the, uh, the hard tops. I just think they're a sounder car. Uh, brand, like I say, brand new uh, a fuel tank. Uh, with an LS uh, conversion pump. Again, I can't say I put a ton of miles on it, but it, you know, it really hit the road nice. Nice and tight. It's got a 2200 converter in it. So it shifts out good. Again, you can pick those a little bit. Same thing. That stuff's all original. tick on this side. I think that's why he put the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, back there for it. And then a gasket. Fuel gauge works. Temperature gauge works. Again, radio in there works. And it opens and closes nice. Brake lights. Radio works, 
just gotta get it on the station, but it works. Blower motor works. Again, wipers work, but they're the old style. So they don't work real good. Run. Headlights. Headlights. Again, guys, make sure you keep track of our inventory. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, our Facebook page, guys, Instagram. Uh, but, uh, you, you can subscribe to our YouTube page, which you can do by clicking a little button there at the bottom. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Let's jump in this thing and take it for a run.